A lot of people think that because I can see that point over there, well, I have clear line of sight. That's not always the case. I deal with a lot of calls and a lot of people, they try to put links together and say, well, I can see the other side. But what they're not taking into account is the Fresnel zone. So if we take a, if we have an obstruction, do this here, sorry. So if we have a mountain, okay. Now when I'm standing up here, I can see the other side. So I'm thinking, well, I have clear line of sight, but the Fresnel zone to this link and the way that the path actually comes across is here. It's more like an elliptical path. So this is your actual signal coming across. And what's happening is that the signal is actually hitting in here and you're getting you know, refraction coming off of this. And so when these packets are coming across, they're arriving at this antenna at the same time, or at, I'm sorry, at different times. And therefore it's causing multipath. And uh, you're gonna get a degradation in performance. Um, it's, gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna result in slower speeds um, lower signal and uh, overall link performance will go down quite a bit. Um, so the, the, the biggest takeaway here is that just because you can you think you have line of sight or you can see the other side is not always necessarily true. So in this case one of the things you can do is you can actually raise your antenna and now you're gonna get up now you're gonna get over that and you're not gonna have Fresnel zone. You may have to raise both ends. Is this Yes, so, so um, 5.8 is, so if this, this would be like a 900 megahertz signal and a 5.8 a 5 would be like this. So you, you may actually be able to get a 5.8 signal to go into this, this uh, on this link and it would bypass this mountain because the Fresnel zone is a lot thinner. As you go into the lower frequencies, your Fresnel zone expands even greater. So 900 megahertz, you can bet, it's probably going to hit that. Uh, if it is like a, uh, um, a steel fence or a wooden fence, stuff like that, would that be affected by the fence? Sure. Okay. If, if, it's, if, it's in, if it's in the way. So any, anything that would cause the, the packet to hit it and then change direction. <laughs> and even sometimes when you're doing like on a, you may not even think of this, some people don't think of this, but if you're on a building, can't draw, if you're on a building and sometimes they have a parapet here and you install a link, having this right here is sometimes it, it's right in it's right in the Fresnel zone. You're actually going to get a worse signal. So if you move it, move your antenna closer to where this is, this is not an, um, a factor, and take it out. So even the, the roof can actually be a, a part of, in in your Fresnel zone. So you need to make sure that your links are high enough, or your radios are high enough, and your antennas to get over that. Yeah, the other thing to know, like if you look at this diagram here, this one kind of shows as well. No. Most of the path calcs do the Fresnel zone on your vertical, so how high above the ground you need to be to have Fresnel zone clear clearance. This kind of shows that, that even if you have, like you've got, like you can see Matt, right? But let's say there's a tree right here, right? And it's off to the side. Fresnel zone actually is it's like this. It's not just vertical. Mm -hmm. So just because you see it, like let's say there's a building over on the left, halfway between the link, but you can still see the other side, that could be Fresnel zone uh, that can create an issue as well. So it's not just below, it can be on either side of it as well. And that's really hard to see on when you're doing a path count. The only way you can tell that is if you get in, like look at a GPS, or look at a satellite image, and see if there's tall buildings on either side. That's the only way you can really tell, without going out and physically looking. So that's what they're showing here. They're also showing that um, you can end up with reflected signal. So whether it's a building or a tree, right? So. Going to go and the yeah, well, well I kind of mentioned it before, but basically when, when, it, when it does hit something, that, that packet, again, is going to arrive at a different time than if it were to go directly to the antenna. And when you have reflected signal, you're going to re, uh, reduce your received sent, uh, signal and therefore a degradation of the entire link. Uh, 